A deadly shooting in a Northwest Jacksonville game room has people in the neighborhood shaken. The violence was last night at Dream Arcade on Edgewood Avenue. Investigators say when a customer tried to intervene and stop a robbery, he was shot and killed. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from outside the arcade with the latest on the investigation. Scott. Mar yeah, Mary, in the last number of hours, they have put uh, the guardrail down to secure the business because they have shut down since this happened. No word yet on who this shooter is. The open sign remained lit this morning with the doors locked at the Dream Arcade after a customer was shot and killed trying to help stop a robbery. This is the latest violence in the neighborhood. It's unfortunate that that man got killed in crossfire in regards to just trying to be a good Samaritan. It's sad. It really is. It's also the latest violence to hit game rooms, also known as internet cafes, which have popped up all over the city. We've covered multiple violent crimes at these businesses citywide since last year, including a triple shooting that killed two on Beach Boulevard. In December, a security guard shot a robber, and then in January, a robbery at a game room in Mayport led to a carjacking and a high-speed chase. In fact, we got this message from a viewer. The people who constantly rob these places will kill soon, kill someone outside of that business when fleeing. It's scary, you know, I think people, uh, they take advantage of situations. But one game room has seemingly avoided crime issues. We got cameras, people are watching. Patrice Quinn has worked at the Copa Internet Cafe for seven years and has never had crime problems, but they do take precautions from security cameras all over to locked cash boxes that can't be accessed. Is that kind of a big part of this job, just making sure that places? We just want everybody to be safe. They're here to have fun. I stopped by others around town who wouldn't tell me much about security, but I did notice guards at some and locked doors at others and multiple signs that read no firearms. And there is an activist group called the Northside Coalition, which has sounded off, sent a letter to all members of the city council asking for a number of things, like only so many internet cafes to be allowed in one part of town at a time and to make sure that security has to be increased. We're live in Northwest Jacksonville. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.